first of all, just, just talk about the win. I mean, it's what an environment to play. Oh, man. Way to finish the season like that or work till the bowl now. Uh, it's, it's such an unbelievable feeling to, to be able to go into somebody else's place and just compete for a championship. And, and I mean, all the odds looked like they were stacked against us there. We were down 14-3, to but uh, we managed to just, just uh, fight and crawl and scratch and make our way back and, and pull it out. And they were on a BCS game. It's such an unbelievable feeling. What did Coach, uh, as you said, you were down and in, in going into halftime. What did, what did Strong and the rest of the coaches have kind of said you guys get you going? They, we just had to get our stuff together. We just had to come out. We had to play hard and we had to execute. And uh, that's what we came out and did in the second half. And, you know, you can accredit it to a few really great plays by some of our receivers and Teddy. And, uh, and I mean, it was just it was a total team effort. Our defense played, you know, really hard. And uh, I was just pleased with everybody. It was, it was a great effort. And how you mentioned Teddy. Talk about, you know, the combination of Stein and Teddy playing together, Stein's a senior, you know, Teddy's battling the injury. Talk about it. I mean, that's got to be I thought, I, I thought it was really cool because, yeah. um, you know, I'm starting to get kind of old. I was here when Stein was a starter, and that seems like a long time ago. And uh, <laughs> it's just really cool to see, you know, Stein to be able to, to come in and do his part and, and have such an impact on the game like the way he did. And then, obviously, Teddy, I mean, that guy's a warrior. He just goes in and he just fights for us. And, and it's so it's so special to see guys just, just compete for each other like that. And it's... And it's commendable. It's really respectable. I, you know, I, I'm Seeing, so proud of those guys. How much harder do you got to dig deeper when you know you got a wounded quarterback back there playing? Uh, I mean, you, it's in the back of your mind. You got to keep the guys off of him because, I mean, obviously Teddy was hurt. And, um, I like to think we did a decent job. I'm not really sure. We haven't watched the film yet, but I, I know the, the end result is is all that matters. That's a win, and, and hopefully uh, we secured a PCS berth. It was difficult to run the ball today for you guys. I mean, was, were y'all talking about that on the field, and, and did you think that you were going to be able to just keep, keep running? Uh, we just had to keep pounding in there. Um, I mean, they had, a, they had a great defensive scheme. They had some great players. and uh, We just had to keep pounding in there, and, and that's what we did. And We made timely runs, uh, timely plays, and, and uh, um, everything just kind of fell in our favor today. Do you have a preference, sugar or orange? Uh, I'd rather go to the sugar bowl, <laughs> honestly. That's a little closer to home for me. Darryl. And uh, hey, and I, I've never been to New Orleans. You know, I'd love to. I'd love to. Be there, so. Mario would too. <laughs> he just talked about he likes to eat. <laughs> what was that? He likes to eat. Yeah. <laughs> what was the locker room like after that? Oh, it was just it was just filled with emotions. Um, guys were crying. Guys were you know on cloud nine, and, and you know it, it, it was it was really special to see. You know, all, it was a culmination of all the work that we've put into it. Um, and we, we've got the result that we wanted. Now we're back-to-back -back champs, and we're, we're in the BCS Bowl. And it's, it's really special. So.